Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you on how we can easily use Clockify. Clockify is amazing free time tracker that you can use. So let's just start. The first thing you want to do is when you're going to come on a website, click start tracking time. It's free. Now, if you already created an account, guys, completely skip this step, okay? I'm going to create temporary email and I'll just add it right here. And I will add a password and create free account. And voila, in a mere two seconds, we are right in. So first thing first, I'm going to give you a walkthrough and I will show you what you can actually get from Clockify. And I'm going to show you also the important settings that you need to set up before we start using Clockify. So the first thing is time tracker. Here you will be uh, adding a project. On the right side and then we will be starting a timer then we're gonna see the calendar calendar you will see it's just calendar of the work that you're gonna do or the past work dashboard this is mm, dashboard you will see like let's say this week how much time you spend on the projects and you can also change that reports are really great if you want to send it to client so let's say you would have a filter for the project that we will create and you would choose that and you can send it to your client that, okay, I was working on this for this amount of time. Then we're going to see the project and we will be creating projects, teams in which you can invite other members, clients on which you can add new client. This is where we are going to start. We are going to start with the clients. Then we are going to see for projects, tags, teams, and then we will go to the time tracker and then settings. So this is something that I recommend change straight away like change the company logo upload the image change the workspace name here you can also enter time on tasks and project using a weekly timesheet view while activated project is a required field for the whole workspace you can have it or no as you can see when i activate the timesheet you can see right here we will check it you can also hide tracker new projects are default billable or non-billable and public or private group projects by if you don't have clients or departments you can change the label to something else from client to department to category so that's how we can do it and as you can see in the moment when i change the client so let's say that you're not going to have clients you can simply change it to category that's completely up to you right i'm going to leave client duration format this is also really important if you want to have a compact or decimal or full i will leave it full again you can edit working days here so let's say that mm, like you're going to work saturday and sunday only and that's it because that's like your side hustle or something you can change here workspace build rate default value of each build per hour and you can have it and currency again you can change that and for these for task rate, time off, everything, you need to have an upgraded version. So we'll skip it because this is for the free version tutorial. Permissions. And this is like who can see billable rates and amounts, everyone or admins, if you're going to invite other people. Then alerts, accounts. And there are like plenty of things you can edit here. And that's pretty much it. Now, what I also recommend, guys, is go to top right to your name, click here, and you can have dark theme here. What you can do is to just have a dark theme. I'm going to disable because on another tutorial, they said to me that when it's dark, it's really hard to understand. So don't have a dark theme. Um, I'm not going to have dark theme, but if you're going to work, dark theme is amazing, mainly if you're going to work in the evenings. So definitely have it on. So this is how, what is the walkthrough of Clockify and what you can actually get from Clockify. Now let's go further and let me show you how we can add a client. So what you want to do is first click manage and clients right here. Here I'm going on the right side and I will click add. And I will click right here Marcus client. Add and voila here I have it. I can edit it and simply change the name. Or I can archive it and then delete it. So this is how we can add a clients. Then you're going to see teams. 
and here you will find also how you can add team members so i would click here add a new member if you want in the future and you would add just like email that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy now the next thing that you can do is you can add projects so in this part i will show you a simple way how you can add projects so you can go on top right and click create new project let's say the project name is going to be youtube channel i can simply change a color right here to green or let's say like this one i'm going to select a client marcus client that we already created and then i have template here i don't have templates so i'm going to leave it like this create and voila here we have our own client and name i can have public access i can start it to make it popular and then three dots i can set it as template or again archive it now as you can see we got the clients we got the teams we got the projects the next thing that i'm going to show you is how you can simply add tags so under client i would click tags and i would go on the right side click add and add a new tag youtube youtube video and voila here i got tags that i can use if i'm going to use a term tracker etc so this is how we uh, get all so we learned how to create a project teams clients and tags right now let's go further and let's check the time tracker on which we are going to use for time tracking then i'm going to also show you how we can use the clockify extension that's really important so click on the time tracker and right here type of what you're working on youtube video and i will go on the right side click plus here project ccc look at this click project and this is the client and i can click on it i can create it a project new one or i can simply click on a youtube channel look at this so i'm working on a project called youtube channel from marcus client what i can do is click on it again and i can click on like marcus client and i can create a new project for it so when i have it i can simply also add and find tags that we created and then what i can do is simply click if it's a billable or no and then i can manual or timer and click start so right now as you can see we're going to categorize your time and right now it's counting i can simply click stop now or i can go let's say i'm going to click three dots here i will click manual that yes i know that i counted that i work from six to nine three hours and i'm going to click youtube youtube video project youtube channel and click add voila so today youtube video and as you can see we got both like same thing that was happening three hours and then i can click three dots duplicate it change the time here and then i can like continue in it so that's what we can do continue timer for this activity and now when we have it and we got it also billable i can also go to timesheet and now timesheet and how they work then we will go to the reports guys timesheet is that something that we all like allowed in settings here you're gonna see the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and i can simply add how much time i was working on the project so you don't have to have a the time tracker you can have just timesheet and just write every day how much time you work you can add a new row and add in multiple projects because you know that on this project you work this amount on this project you work this amount so let's say i worked also in wednesday for one hour so now that's one minute see and we got a total this week for four hours we were working now what i can do is to simply go to dashboard and this is how the analytics is going to work here 
This is clearly that. In Wednesday, we were working for one hour. Then, for Friday, we were working for three hours. Combined, we were working for four hours this week. You can, of course, if you can have multiple projects, you can simply click on a project or team only week and which amount of time that you want to have analytics for. Now, the next thing are reports. So I would click on the reports right here. And I can see clearly that, okay, this was a month, three hours, and I can simply click here and I can, let's say, export it, save as PDF. And voila, here we have it. So I could easily send this report to someone and then use it. Of course, when I would click to project, let's click on a project and let's click on this uh, like project hours. And then you see like also tasks here. So you can have like add a new tasks. So I can simply, this is really important. I can add a new task, YouTube description. I can click add, assign me, let this is going to be me. Have access, like who can access the project. Status, this is billable and non-billable. Notes and project settings. And here, this is really important, you can set the hourly rate. So let's say I'm going to add a new hourly rate for our project for 25. So all past and future. So 25, what is the new billable rate? 25. So project estimate, and you can have time estimate or project budget for this project that you're going to have, right? So this is how it works. And let's say that I'm going to, from now on, it means that I'm going to have a timesheet. So what I'm going to time tracker right now, and let's say I'm going to add a manual from 12 to 15, and I would click billable project YouTube channel. YouTube script that I was working on or guys this is what I want to show you you can simply have also YouTube YouTube video what have we worked on YouTube script and then I would click add see we see right here YouTube script billable now when I would go to dashboard six hours when I would go to the reports see we see the amount right now so seven hours but we got billed 75 bucks so my recommendation would be guys definitely check the amount this is something that I should have shown you first when you would click on a project click on a project settings and change the hourly rate here for the project billable rate that's really important to have now, let me show you the last thing. Guys, if you can have any questions about this, this part from Clockify on projects, task, time tracker, I think I really explained it well. But again, if you can have any questions, ask me down below. Then you're going to have also workspaces here on manage that you can create a new workspace. So let's say you would have a workspace for something then workspace for something else. That's like up to, up to you. And then I'm going further. And let's say that I'm going to have... Uh, extension and how we can use the extension. So I would go Clockify extension, free Chrome time tracking extension. Okay. And I'm going to click add to Chrome. So I will show you how we can simply. Now, right here, when I would have it, I can go to the right, Clockify time tracker. I would click on a time tracker login and he here we are and look at this in the moment let's say that i'm like googling right so google yabadabadu and i'll be googling right whatever and then i would go to the right 
And then what are you working on? So let's say I'm starting to create a YouTube SEO. Start, add a project, YouTube channel. Add a tags, YouTube, YouTube video. Start 608. And voila, here we go. So now I'm working also on my on my like YouTube SEO. And this was pretty much it how we can use Clockify, guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be happy to help you provide you some guidance. This was a Clockify tutorial, how to use Clockify, Clockify guide, uh, Clockify for beginners, Clockify 2021, 2022, Clockify tutorial, Clockify guide, etc. You know how it goes, you know how it is. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.